Good afternoon, everyone. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations Wyckoff. How are you guys all doing? Awesome, I hope. Can you believe it that Christmas is just a couple weeks away? <laughs> and usually, Black Friday, we usually decorate. And I usually go all out. Uh, but... We're kind of waiting to hear from our insulation guys. This was supposed to get insulation and I don't want to go all out yet and not have to tear down all the Christmas decorations because found out instead of the insulation going on the outside of the house from a brick home like I thought, they have to drill holes from the inside of the house. And I was just like, oh, no. So I feel like I'm on hold on Christmas decorating right now for on the rest of the inside of the house. But we have the main tree in the living room put up. And I have other trees and stuff I want to put up. I want to put up the Christmas village and everything else. And I have a snowman tree I want to put in my craft room. But that's on hold. So... By the time, I don't know yet as to when we'll get to finish decorating. So Christmas might stay up till after the uh, Western Stock Show, the National Western Stock Show that we have every January. So it might stay up till after that. <laughs> so anyways, on to card making. And everything else, y'all. I am working on drop-down cards because when I was watching... So every Friday night, we have this thing called the Craft Roulette Show, okay? On Fridays. And there's this gal. Her name is Mary Gunn. She goes by Mary Gunn Fun. And her YouTube channel is called Craft Roulette. Or the Craft Roulette Show or whatever. Just type up Craft Roulette in the search bar up top and you'll find it. You'll find her. Okay. So Mr. Wheel landed on um, shiny and he also landed on for project. He landed on drop down. Well, I got inspired. So um, as you all can see here, this is my drop down. Well, I realized I messed up on this. I scored in the wrong spots. So it inspired me to readjust and realign things. Okay. So I did just that. Okay. Here is one I made. And I'm using my new recollection Christmas books. Yes, I'm addicted to paper. Okay. Okay. Christmas paper and other decorative paper, um, paper pads. I can't help it, but <laughs> a lot of us crafters are addicted to Christmas paper and other decorative paper because they're, they're great for cards and there's some in there that are good for scrapbooking too. But I finally figured out how to do the perfect drop down. And then I have another version of drop down I came up with this morning or this afternoon, whatever time of day it is. I guess it's afternoon. So this one, I used Ranger Products by Simon Hurley Creates. So I scored, so this is an A2 size card. So it should fit in an A2 size envelope. So we're gonna test this out because I have all my Christmas envelopes made. Okay. So here's one of the envelopes that I made. Probably not the perfect envelope, but it's an envelope. So we're going to test this out on camera, okay? On video, I should say. Should fit. Okay? Fits. Just perfect. So right there in an A2 size. So just so you know. Okay? So I scored these at my math... Almost wasn't working. So this one was a test run for me. I scored it, you know, it was eight and a half by 
five and a half inches. That's the size of the cardstock. We'll get you an A2 size card, okay? So I scored them at two and a quarter and I was thinking, okay, half of eight and a half is two and a quarter, right? So they should both meet in the middle evenly. They don't. It still overlaps. So, and I didn't want them overlapping. I didn't like that overlap look. I just, I just didn't like it. So even though four and a quarter is half of eight and a half, I went down a notch and I went down to four and one eighths. And that's what I did. So you open this up. Now this one has, like I said, Simon Hurley Creates products on it, minus the Recollection card, Christmas cardstock. So we open this up, drops down, and I paired this one with his um, Christmas Winter Wonderland houses and all that that he has. And there you have it. And then I added trees to the side of the tree cardstock too. And then I am going to add some sequins to this because it needs something else on the front. So we'll, we'll figure that out. And then I'm going to do another Simon Hurley one. So here's another one I've got going. So there's another one. So... Today, I thought I would do a Picket Fence one and a Spellbinders one, okay? So I thought I would go different this time for a drop-down card, okay? This one I already have made. This one I stenciled with the Picket Fence, um, Picket Fence 6x6 six six, um, Snowfall. Stencil, I believe is what it's called. Nope, that's Simon Hurley's. I got it paired with the wrong one. Oh no. Ah! Uh, well, it's around here somewhere. I just have it paired with the wrong envelope, but I believe it's called, no, Snowball Fight. Snowball Fight is what it is. So that's what that is. So, yeah. That's what it's called. So I just used, um, I think I used Simon Hurley Creates um, Midnight Snack and No Diving for the Snowflakes for stenciling. And so I did that. And then these are the um, stamps that come with this stamp set. And then this thing, I it was a Stampin' Up! nesting die set that I got a while ago. Um, I put silver lining lunar paste on it and decided to turn it into an ice skating ring. And I thought, oh, this, this looks perfect for an ice skating ring. So I did that. And then I added these guys to make it look like Christmas lights up above the ice skating rink. And believe it or not, these Christmas lights, if you guys look closely, they're fish. They're fish lights. They're Christmas fish lights with a stocking to boot. So we have one of the polar bears ice skating and his friend is like waving at him saying, hey, I'll be there in a minute. So not that cool? And then I have a very merry season or have a merry season. So we're going to pair and I paired that up with Hold on a second. Let's get these out of the way for a minute. Paired that up with these black ones. Did I cut enough? I don't think I did. I was supposed to cut three. I did. I got three. And these, this tree. This tree's going to go in the middle. Okay. Like so. And then he is going to go right here and then this one is going to go here so you're going to open it up and then voila 
so we're gonna put this card together shall we see see yes let's do it all right so today there are lots of sales going on today is cyber monday so lots of crafty um lots of the stamp and die companies that i'm an affiliate for are having lots of cyber one day sales today so I will post my affiliate links. Oops, why did I do that? I just put it back in the glue thing. I'm so silly. Um, I, uh, I will post all of my affiliate links from Spellbinders to Ranger to Pick a Fence to all them. And I will add them down below in my description box. Unfortunately, I am not an affiliate for um, Michaels or anybody like that. So we're not doing, um, but this is hashtag Michaels right here. Okay, I want to make sure that this is even. that even? I don't know. Maybe it is. My eyes are playing tricks on me. That doesn't look even, does it? Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it is. Okay. All right. So now we're going to put these guys on. These black snowy scenes, night sky snowy scenes on. Okay, and I just kind of went through my paper pads and paired things together what I thought went well together. And I thought polar bears, you know, they, they like um, to be out and about here and there, sometimes even at night looking for food. But sometimes during the day, too, a lot. But I thought this went well with those snowy trees, too. And then, uh, yeah. So how many of you guys broke your banks this weekend by going... Um, Christmas shopping, Black Friday shopping, and then doing Cyber Monday shopping today. I haven't done anything. No Black Friday shopping, no Cyber Monday shopping. Nada, nothing. No shopping whatsoever. Okay, now we're going to put the last one on this one. And then we can finish this card. Okay. I'm trying really hard to get it centered, but sometimes it's so hard. But that looks good, I think. Looks good. Looks good. Yay. I think I got that one good. Okay, so now we're going to take this, and I think I'm just going to glue this, put glue on this. That way I don't put too much glue on this. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to glue this. Whoop. Don't want to glue the paper behind underneath me because that's for another card. That's for another Simon Hurley project. Simon Hurley creates. Okay. Put that on. 
Okay, so there's part of our drop down. Now you wanna leave a spot to write on. So I would write on this part, you can write on here. Okay, so we're gonna leave that white. Okay, so I threw my bears in with Frosty and Chili. So I have some more bears. And the Christmas tree. Let's make sure I have them all. Oh, where's the cookies? We need the cookies. Can't go without the cookies. Now can we? I think I have a plate of cookies in here too. You know what? I might just add some of these snowflakes. What do you say? They're from they're from uh, Tim Holtz's uh, snowflake die that I have. Do I have a plate of cookies? Uh, I think I will add some of these snowflakes. Because I think that would look cool. One, two, three, four, five. We'll add five of them just to be different. So we have, oh, there's the plate of cookies right here. So here's the plate of cookies. So how did I color these? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I used my Spectrum Noir markers, I think. That's how I colored, yeah. That's how I colored. And those ornaments on the tree are fish as well. So I thought I would prop these up on foam tape, okay, which is right here. So I'm going to figure out where we want to put these, okay. So we could put our tree in the middle. We could, I think they look cool looking at the tree as always and then he's putting a present under the tree and then this guy hmm I don't know I think I'll save him for another project with the cookies and the hot cocoa we'll save him for another project how about that that looks cool that way. I like it that way. So I think I'm going to glue the tree down. Or we can put skinny stuff on, maybe. Let's do the skinny mini. So we're going to put our skinny double-sided foam tape. So again, this is just from good old... Amazon if you want to know where I got it. I could not remember the link or anything like that so unfortunately I cannot post the link. Make sure I don't cut the tree. <sighs> That would be bad. I don't want to cut the tree to pieces. I have another roll of this skinny stuff. It's pretty skinny. I think it's about an eighth of an inch or less. I don't know. I'll have to measure it and tell you. But it works great for this skinny stuff. And it really doesn't take much to use, that's for sure. Okay, we got that. And then we're going to put these guys little piece on them doesn't take much but one little piece is all it needs 
I tried to conserve my tape. That's how I am. I try not to go too tapey crazy. There, that looks good. There. This would actually look good with the pear blossom press lights too, with some of these fish lit up. That would look cool. I think that would look awesome. All right, so now we're gonna peel this. Okay. So how many of you have gotten your Christmas cards already stamped, addressed, and out the door in the mail? Show of hands. I'm not raising my hand. I was hoping to be done and ready to go by the day after by Black Friday and have them all out the door. Nope, I was not ready. <laughs> totally did not make it. I still have a few more to make. Even though I started in July, the Christmas in July thing, you think? That would give me plenty of time, but as I went through all those Christmas cards, I was looking at some of them went through some of them and I was just like, yuck, no, nada, no, yuck, gross, disgusting, I don't think so, no one would like that. <laughs> and then I had a no pile and a yes pile and yeah, I just, I'm like, okay, I need to make a few more. So that's what I'm working on. And I think you guys would appreciate these drop down ones. I think I like them too. So that's what I'm doing. And yeah. So there's that. And I think what I'm gonna do is grab my trusty tweezers here. And we're gonna just glue these snowflakes down. Oh, what did I get on my cardstock? You know what? I don't wanna know. We'll just have to cover it up. And then I'm going to go over these off camera with the Tim Holtz sparkle paste stuff. Oops, I put too much glue on that. So we're going to do a snowflake here. And I'll show you the die for this one. I made a card using this. It turned out cute, but it's a little slanted. But I got a little crooked for some reason, or that or my paper was crooked. So I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle on here. And that glitter stays on. It doesn't come off either, which is nice. Which, that's what I like about it. Because I don't like a lot of glitter falling off either. And Spellbinders, speaking of glitter, they have this really cool glittered cardstock, y'all. That uh, has glittered cardstock where the glitter does not come off the paper at all. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, that came out. And then we're going to pop these little guys out. Real quick. Oh, I think I have six snowflakes. Where'd the other one go? Oh, here it is. I think we'll put three up there and two down here. I might add some more right here. I'm not sure yet. Knowing me, but I figured instead of throwing these snowflakes out, I thought, why not recycle, reuse, right? There, we'll put that one there. It doesn't matter if it's on the tree or not. Oh, I didn't glue that one down yet. Oops. Thought I did. 
Guess I forgot. Uh, let's, we better do that. Okay. So we got that one. And so now you have a drop down card, which could stand too, even. But yeah, it's kind of cute. So it already has have a Merry Christmas. I think I might put another Merry Christmas right here to another sentiment right here as well. But there's that one for now. I'll put the gems on off camera to save time. Now, I have the stuff cut and ready to go for Spellbinders card, okay? I'm going to see if this is going to work. I've got all of my poinsettias foiled and ready to go, okay? And I've got some leaves foiled and I've got a part of this infinity die and I use silver mirrored cardstock to go with that. I figured we'd try that too. And then this is the cardstock that we're using. This is going to go on the outside. Okay. These are going to go here. Okay. And then on the inside, we're going to put these green plaid. And I thought this green plaid went well with the poinsettias. And it also kind of mixes well with the bows too. This goes here. And the bigger poinsettia one goes here. And the smaller one goes down here. So this is the other drop down. So... And again, this is an A2 size card, and all I did was to do this is I cut this at five. Hold that thought for a second. What do I do with my ruler? Where'd my ruler go? I just, oh, here it is. Um, so this piece here, you guys, all the way down is... Five and a half inches long, okay, by four inches wide is all. That's it. Um, yeah, about about four inches wide is what I did. So, yeah, because I didn't want to cut into the fold for some reason when I folded it in, because this is five and a half by four and a quarter. So I made it a little bit smaller to drop down. And I actually found this online. So I was like, oh yeah, I can do that. And you can make any size, like a five by seven one, six by six drop down, you know, whatever. But yeah. So let's go ahead and put together the Spellbinders drop down card. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with our red bows. Okay. And I have a whole handful of drop down cards ready to go. And I figured I'd make a bunch of those, like 10 or so of those. And then maybe I'll be ready to hopefully send Christmas cards out, right? Hopefully. Okay, that looks good. That looks a little, there we go. That looks a little better there. Okay. Now we're gonna put this one on. If I can grab it. Make sure I put my bows on upside right and not upside down like I have a habit of doing sometimes. Good. We're doing this correct. OK. 
Okay. Make sure we're even as close as I can be without being crooked. Looks good. Now, I do know that Recollections paper sometimes, I've heard through the grapevine that sometimes they can be crooked. That you just got to work with it and try and cut it straight. And I've had to do that a couple of times too. So... All right, so now let's do our, make sure I grab the bigger one. Um, yep, yep. I always do a square or a rectangle around with my glue first, then I fill it in. I don't know why I do that. It's just how I do it. I'm just weird that way, I guess. I don't know. Just odd. So I hope that all of you guys have an awesome, blessed Christmas season for those that celebrate Christmas. Okay, that looks good. And then, uh, yeah. And... Also, are some of you making New Year's resolutions for the next year? Cause, or do you make New Year's resolutions at all? I never do. I used to at one time, and then I stopped doing it because they just bro. I just I break them all the time, so I stopped doing it. I just don't do it anymore. I just don't. What's the point? I could say I'm gonna craft more. This year, I'm going to do my best to get birthday cards out the door this time. How did I get this longer? I made a mistake. I didn't measure right. <gasps> no, I didn't. You guys, I didn't measure right. No. Where did I go wrong? I'm over. Yeah. We are over the snow. So we're going to have to cut this down. And we just got snow for Thanksgiving weekend, too. It did snow here. No, I don't want that covered with glue. Okay, so now let's do... So we got about four and a half inches of snow for Thanksgiving weekend. Started snowing Thursday night on Thanksgiving night. Just to kind of bring in the Christmas season, I guess. And then it snowed through Saturday until about noon. So we got about four and a half inches. But down south in Colorado, they got quite a bit down there. Oh, she snew. So I know some of my crafty peeps that live down south probably had to definitely dig themselves out. Oh. <laughs> the southern mountains definitely got hit. But all of our ski, ski slopes and stuff are now opened. Yay! And they're saying we can get a ton of snow this winter, even down here. So I'm like, oh boy, we're supposed to be in that polar, polar express El Nino thing. So not only are we going to be cold and wet, we're going to get tons of snow this year. Lots of snow. Okay, so there's that. So now we have that added. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I like that foiled poinsettia. Those foiled leaves and the foiled berries. So this stays white so you can write on it. So that's where I'm going to be writing to you all. So that way you know. That just looks so pretty. So now, what am I going to do? Hmm. I am going to put, I think, this way. Okay, I'm going to put that there, I think. 
Or do I want to do it this way and have this as my flip, I think. Good idea. And then align it with some poinsettias going around. That is what I'm going to do. Oh, try not to glue in the center. No, 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 no. Don't glue in the center. Don't glue on one side. Uh-oh. I glued on the wrong side. I wasn't thinking. Shoot. <sighs> oh, well. Okay. We got that on. All right, so there's our door. Make sure that glue is off, 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 off. Wipe off. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is let's see if we layer some poinsettias. Shall we do that? We have three sizes. I think we can do that. Let's do that. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, that one. And then we have a really small one here. Let's do this one. Okay, like so. And then we're going to put a poinsettia here. Hopefully this will work. And then we're going to take another poinsettia and put it on the other side on this side okay let's see opposite a little bit so like so so your petals are not even with each other which i'm trying not to do then we're going to take our smallest one here that one looks like it got rubbed off a little bit. I don't like that. I don't know. Could be my inking job didn't do a good job. That could be too. Then we're going to take this one. Go in like so. There, there's that one. That looks cool. I like that. Then we're going to go opposite. There's that one. And then we have one big leaf for each one and one small leaf for each one. Okay. So let's see. I think we're going to do big leaf here okay so I did gold foil for the poinsettias and silver foil for the leaves because I just thought it looked pretty that way and then That one right there. And then the same thing over here, but this we're gonna go opposite. So we're gonna do big leaf on this side and small leaf on the other side. Let me 
Isn't that beautiful paper? Isn't that the prettiest paper you ever saw? My daughter saw that paper that I had, and she's like, Mom, I want this paper. It's so pretty. I want to steal it from you. <laughs> it's like, nope. I'm going to use that. I have a project I'm going to do with it. So no, you can't steal it. <laughs> you can buy your own though. So there's that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like that. So this is where I'm going to stop because I might add some more stuff. So I got my poinsettias in. So I will finish this off camera okay so you saw where i did this and i'm gonna add some gems and i'll add some more stuff and i'll take pictures of these off camera okay and i will upload these to my facebook group um and to um to uh uh, Instagram and also probably to Pinterest as well and then I'm going to do a chilly and a freezy one and I'll show you the pattern paper for that that I picked out okay show you my daughter agrees it go it would be perfect but I'm going to do the snowman chilly and freezy with these guys so let me know what you think down in the comments. Chilly and freezy with these guys. And the drop down cards. You think that would be cute? I think so. I'll probably make more than two snowmans for each card, though. I think so too. Yep. So, anyways. And then this one is for Simon Hurley Creates Winter Woodlands, or whatever they're called. He has that reindeer with the poinsettia wrapped around him. That's why I was thinking of this. So that's what's going to go on here. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you later. And don't forget, shop those Cyber Monday sales down below in the description box. And have fun. Happy shopping. Whatever it is you want to do or don't do. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you all later. Love you all. And hope to see you guys live this Thursday with some hopefully fun stuff if I'm allowed. So I will talk to you later. Bye.